So how do you get your message out to the world? Something campaign groups ask themselves all the time. Greenpeace have done pretty well over the years and they're not afraid of getting their hands dirty. The thing is, their latest stunt has kind of backfired. It all started with this nighttime hike in Peru towards the ancient Nazca lines and the laying down of a very simple message. You see the light here over there? With the job done, campaigners waited for the sun to rise and shine on that message and then the world to see. That they did, and so too did the Peruvian government, who wasn't happy. The government said that the message was put right next to one of the carvings, the hummingbird, and has now done damage to the archaeological site. The deputy culture minister called the act a slap in the face at everything Peruvians consider sacred. The Nazca lines are a set of giant images of animals and plants carved in the soil around 1,500 years ago. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and you have to have permission and special footwear to walk on the site, even presidents and prime ministers. The Peruvian government has said it will try and stop protesters leaving. If convicted of a crime through damage, it could mean a six-year jail term. So the stump by Greenpeace has ruffled feathers. The group has humbly apologised. And executive director Kumi Naidu is travelling to Lima this week to say sorry in person and help with the damage investigation. So why were Greenpeace there in the first place? From the Nazca lines, we're sending a strong message to political leaders that are debating in the UN climate conference in Lima. Time for change, the future is renewable, and with this we expect that they take action urgently to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. Greenpeace regularly attacks companies and governments for damaging the environment, but has now been facing criticism itself for this stunt. Ironically, because of the government fury, more attention has been focused on the stunt and the message distributed across more global news sites. So publicity, but probably not the kind of publicity that Greenpeace wanted, it's all damage limitation now.